Cliff wanted it. Um, Carl's Move on. Rubbish. Yeah. 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 That's a Rotex. Rotex. Oh, yeah, the Volta um, Volta Rotex RMA. That's the one I did, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. If anybody's interested, I'll leave it here so you can yeah, look at it. Right, mate. And that's the box. How much are you giving the them away for? Ooh! Ooh! Oh.
Okay, conclusions then, first up we look at the Webley Acumax at 10.65 grains from the Falcon at 50 yards. The wind was blowing at 10 miles per hour right to left and the overall group of 5 shots was 1.5 inches, or 36 mm center to center grouping. The JSB knockout slugs at 10.03 grains, definitely did better, with only one shot outside of the main group, dropping low, giving a 15, 16 of an inch, or 23 mm, center to center grouping out of a total of 9 shots. This shows that the slugs definitely do better at long range in windy conditions, if they suit your barrel in the first place. Now for the Daystate Airwolf results. First up was the Webley Acumax. These turned out to be the best pellet overall through the Daystate Airwolf at 50 yards. The group tended to be more vertical in the point of impact, and showed not as much wind drift. This, probably due to a lull in the wind at the time of the test. This gave a center-to-center -center group of 19 mm with 10 out of the 11 shots, with only one landing low of the group. Next was the Falcon Accuracy Plus pellets. These are a lightweight pellet and compare to the JSBRS pellet. 
these were more affected by the wind, and gave a main group of 25mm center to center with 8 out of the 10 shots. The next group was the H and N Terminator. These have been a pretty accurate pellet, and did quite well at 50 yards. The whole group was 22mm center to center. With the next group, I expected the gooping to compare to the H and N Terminators. These were the BSA Silver Star, which look the same, and weigh the same as the Terminators. Having said that, the group was larger, which could have been wind-related, but these gave an overall group of 45mm center to center, and showed the wind drift quite clearly from right to left. We now come on to the JSB knockout slugs at 10.03 grains. Through the day state they weren't quite as good as with the Falcon, or as good as the Webley Acumax, the H and N terminators with the day state, but still gave a group of 38mm center to center overall. The final pellet was a chance at the underdog. This was with the Spitfires round. After a few shots I gave up, because they were all over the place, so this was a case of good in one rifle, but not in all. Once again this shows what works well in different rifles at long range in windy conditions. In reality, the only way to see what works in your rifle is to try a selection of pellets at different distances, and in all weathers to see what works. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.